Hey guys, welcome back to Once Upon a Tiny Farm. My name's Drew. In this video today, I'm very excited because I got a new variety of strawberry called Old North Sea. It's a rare variety of strawberry that was found, uh, according to uh, Baker Creek's website, it was found at an old Viking uh, burial site over um, out that way. Um, and I thought that was really cool. And I've been on a waiting list for these strawberries for a very long time. So today, I got them in the mail. I'm gonna open this up. This is very cool. I want to, this only came with three plants. So what my plan is with this is, um, obviously I would like to have more than three plants, but this costs like $16.50 just for the three um, strawberry plants. So what I'm going to do is use one of these um, Dollar Tree stackable uh, planters and it has three little sections in one of these planters. So I'm just gonna use one of these. I'm gonna fill this with soil and I'm gonna put um, one of each of these strawberries that looks really, really healthy in that planter. Let's see. I'm actually impressed with how well these came through the mail. Look at that. Look at that beautiful uh, strawberry plant. That got broke a little bit in there, but it looks very green and healthy. So I'm gonna put these in and my plan is to leave these in my greenhouse, I guess, in this uh, stackable pot. And what I would like to do is get all the runners as they grow and expand and maybe like quadruple how many strawberries I have for next year. Maybe more if I could um, figure out how to save the seeds off these strawberries once they fruit. I watched a video on that you could dry them out, the skin, and let all the seeds fall off the strawberry and then put those seeds um, in soil and sprout, you know, strawberries from seed. I've never done that before. But it would just be cool to have a very own um, rare strawberry growing on our little farm. So this is what we're doing right now. All right, now I am just going to fill up this uh, planter with my homemade uh, soil uh, mix here. This is a mix of peat moss, a little bit of perlite, and vermiculite, and it's also mixed with some worm castings, and some of, oh, where's the other stuff that I used? I used uh, this mycorrhizae stuff to really help with uh, root development. So I got some good stuff in the soil mix, and that's what these strawberries are going to be growing in. So they should do really well in here. All right, these look really, really nice. And in they go. I'm super excited here. There's one. Wow, look at that. Look at that. All right, just gonna give them a little bath, a little water bath, water them in good. And I'm just gonna let these guys grow. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to see these guys start to fruit. So there it is. That's all I wanted to share in this video. Old North Sea, really cool, rare variety of strawberry that I got from Baker Creek uh, Seeds. I'll post a link uh, down below um, if you guys wanna check out the um, this plant or some of the other plants that they offer. I was on a waiting list on for this plant for a really long time. And uh, like I said, I'm very excited. It's a little bit pricey for just three plants, but uh, if you know what you're doing with strawberries, they reproduce and produce runners very easily. So I could very easily after one season, I'm hoping collect a lot of the runners from these um, strawberries as they start to grow and maybe have a whole stackable um, planter full of just this type of strawberry and that's one of my goals for this year so maybe i'll do another video on that as the season progresses that's gonna wrap up this video guys thanks for watching uh if you found it helpful give this video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel for more videos like this all right thanks for watching we'll see you next time